Well, it's a year of change for the St. Aug football team, starting with their head coach. But how's the transition going? Well, that's what CBS 17's Jordan Kramer was at practice bright and early this morning to find out. Jordan? There's a new vibe around the St. Augustine Falcons football team this year. We're going to be a physical unit and discipline, and uh, it's one of the type of things, win or lose, that I want to get the respect that, hey, we don't want to play them again. And that's what I'm looking for. The Falcons are in adjustment mode, still getting used to the way first-year head coach Howard Fagans runs the ship. And Fagans is still getting used to being at the helm. You know, you have so many things from ordering to compliance issues that you got to deal with. Making sure a young man can clear, talking to the trainer, talking to the athletic director. Uh, we need to get new field turf, talking to the actual turf people. So it's been very busy off the field. Helping make the on-field transition a little easier is returning starting quarterback Chris Perkins. Coach Fagan said he's likely to get the ball game won, but he does have some work to do before then. Uh, my job now is to try to keep him healthy and learn my offense. Understanding defense is going to be huge for him because to me, a quarterback got to know it all. He has an arsenal of downfield threats too, including transfer wide receiver Josiah Davis. He comes to Raleigh by way of Jackson State. And veteran wide receiver DeAndre Proctor, who coached is expecting to have an all-conference type of year. He's a big body, 6'2", 205, uh, that has to build to break tackles. None of that, uh, he's going to play some quarterback this year also. He's a big athlete. It's a marathon, not a sprint. If the new install is a 10-chapter book, they're only on chapter two, but that is perfectly fine by the first-year head coach. If we can execute these first two parts, we'll be okay in our game. Reporting in Raleigh, Jordan Kramer, CB17 Sports.